Hey guys, it's Vienna. Welcome back to Strife. In the last part, we uh, went through the whole side shebang and we now have Fists of Fury. And in this part, we are going to probably beat the game because we're heading off to the Proving Grounds, which is basically... Yeah, there's nothing... <laughs> a little bit anticlimactic. Nothing that we're about to do you haven't seen already because we did it for the bad ending. Uh, the only thing I have to do is figure out where the heck the Proving Grounds is. somewhere. I think it's in the south. I, uh, we found it the first time. I think it's down, oh, wait, 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 it's down here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. And now we're here at the Proving Grounds. So, last time we did this, we Damn, couldn't punch the impressive people. entrance way. But what we're searching for is on another level. Head down. All the ammo in the world and the best weapon is just our fists. Because we're awesome like that. Oh, Spidey, you going? My hand trying to hit the was keys and seven at the same time. Trying to hit. Alright, so hopefully I can use my fists on anything that isn't those guys or the, the um, the uh, whatever the, the gun is, the blaster. It's probably quicker to take him out like that, but it's, I, I don't prefer it. Uh, where's the switch? We've done this already, I know where the switch should be up here. That just, I, the switch. Oh, okay. I actually don't feel as stupid this time because we're not wandering around aimlessly. We know where we have to go, and it's just so happens to not even be like available. That's okay. What I can't hit are the freaking turrets. This is when I get telefragged by the uh, thing again, don't I? You, know, you remember that. By the way, I've run out of money. That's all the armor I could... Oh, that's all the stuff I could get. Feels good. It feels good! Be able to do that and get all this uh, plate ammo. Nice. Yeah. Oh, dude, it feels good to be able to take those out. All right. Let's not get immediately wrecked by everyone in here. Uh, turret. Getting wrecked by these things of all. There's some on the other side. Let's get the turret, which I can actually hit now. Look at that! Almost, nearly. This is why you need that because it'll get everything here. Nice. Uh, don't worry, we're not, we're not suffering too bad. We're not suffering too bad. Because the problem is, I don't have any money. Which means I can't go back for any healing. And I really hope I survive all the way up until the very end of the game. These are my biggest, like, worries right now, these guys. I see I can punch them. I can't because you can't get up on the ledge. And also the worst part is that they uh, deal damage when they die, like they explode. Just be using rockets. And now I'm down to the huge healing items. 
good run while I lost it, but yeah, we are very stuck. Why did I do this on like the, the kind of hard difficulty level? Um, I don't even know. Fortunately, uh, there's no, for the veterans edition, there's no Steam achievement for beating the game on any difficulty level really. Uh, there is one for beating the demo in, on the bloodbath difficulty, the highest one, in six minutes. But the demo, of course, doesn't get anywhere near as hard. And, truth be told, it's probably one of the easiest things to beat the game uh, on Bloodbath. Six minutes? That's the tricky part. I will not be attempting to demonstrate doing it in six minutes on Bloodbath. But I will be showing it off. Not in six minutes, we'll be taking our time. Um... Yeah, so don't worry, there will be one more bonus part, just to show off the demo, but, uh, other than that... What am I doing it the old-fashioned way? Blowing them, actually blowing them up. There we go, a bit of health, a bit of ammo, clearly the flame, the, the crossbow ammo that we need. I didn't blow that one up at that time. Alright. Now, I believe... This switch operates the... I, I don't know actually what switches operate what, and I really should. This is all nice. I'm gonna punch the dude on the outside there. Ow! My face! I needed it. Couldn't... Could've said please. Could've apologized. But no. You didn't want to. So hopefully, I know, I actually know what I'm doing. It's a very uh. I want to get the turret. I'm hitting things in the way. All right. Whatever makes it a bit easier for me on my way out, you know. So if we go back. And and you you guys all know the drill. And in fact, I should be I should be. This is the last part. Let's uh, let's talk about the game in general. So basically, I feel like I've had a pretty good run uh, through this game. We've shown off basically everything extra for the most part. Yeah, yeah, that activates. Yeah. Uh, we've shown off the talismans the, in the in the new veterans edition. We've shown off. Uh, Pretty much everything apart from the very final level, like really hell. Uh, but for the most part, I feel like it's been pretty good. Commentary's pretty dang good. I'm saying this like as I'm doing it. Um, my biggest problem is that, of course, I'm really, really bad when it comes to scheduling, and I really should be getting better. I, I'm hoping to get better. I, uh, my biggest problem. Oh my gosh. I told you the spiders were the worst enemies. Not even like the huge dudes. Wait, which I know there's another one and I know I have to take them out. I'm gonna punch them though and see what happens. Dude, like half the time I'm trying to punch people and then it's like, nah, you can't. Um... So yeah, scheduling is the worst for me. I, I kind of stole the videos in releasing them, uh, just so I wouldn't really uh, have to do it. But then I was like, yeah, that's not really the best thing, is it? Because that just means you guys just get it way slower than other Let's Players do. And I don't want to do that. I, I want to make them. I want to make them. I want to roll with the big ones. So... I'm gonna make a better effort to, to definitely keep keep this stable because I feel like I wanted to get through a lot of my um a lot of my uh, game backlog. Oh hey buddy, can I actually kill this guy in one punch? One punch man. If anyone has made that comment by the way, uh, I I applaud you. I, I I've been recording this uh in one sitting. In fact, in fact, I feel like I've only been recording this entire let's play in like six hours. I'm actually surprised how quick I'm blitzing through it. 
Uh, let's go down the lower level and see if we can punch him first hand. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? I got jammed in the floor. Interesting. Um, yeah. This guy's on the ground outside, are they? Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the, for the most part, I feel like everything else, pretty dang good. Uh, nothing bad in recording, um, nothing, nothing really too huge. Uh, oh, except that, wow, you can't kill him in one punch. The problem is there's only one opportunity in, one opportunity in this entire game that you'll ever... Whoa. I mean, I know that's how the Doom Engine works, but that was a little weird. Um, yeah, rough, pretty smooth. Uh, one thing that did happen is that in the middle of, uh, recording, I got a 1440p monitor, and it's throwing me off a little bit. One, because it's a second monitor, and for some odd reason, Shadowplay will not catch this game if I've got two monitors. Um, so just... I'm an idiot. Uh, so I just had to disable it, no biggie. Uh, and I also reduced it down to 1080p. Uh... Because I wanted, I could have been recording at 1440p, but I did a bit of a video test on YouTube, and for some odd reason, I can't upload 1440p, or I, I can, but it doesn't, it'll only go, go out at 1080 on YouTube. And I know YouTube can, can do 1440p, I also know that they have a 4K setting, but I don't know what you need in order to, I haven't flipped the switch there, um, I don't know what you need in order to be able to do that, like, you think, like, I, I've already... Uh, monetized, we got like all the stuff, got some thumbnails, long videos, um, nothing else really on my mind, um, uh, off the top of my head, that is, uh, yeah, so I'm just thinking like, why can't I do 1440p, and if anyone knows, uh, help me out please, I need help, yeah, um, otherwise though, it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling good. And thoughts about this game, it's it's a bit it's a bit messier than I uh, remembered. Uh, mainly because yeah, like here's here's the final level, flicking switches, trying to figure out what activates what. It's not too bad on a replay, but maybe on a first playthrough, it's daunting, maybe even confusing because you're seriously trying to figure this stuff out. I'm trying to remember where the heck the switch was. And the worst part is that I've done this already in this left play, and I still can't remember. Switch isn't there. I feel like it's just something up here, like where I'm standing. Or... I mean, it's this kind of stuff. Yep. Second one. There we go. I think that's it. I think that's the one. But you can't really see it. Nope, it's not. It's definitely not the one because I can still see it's close. Uh, the only thing I can think is that the side doors were open, but I definitely know that the side doors open at the same time. Yeah. The worst part is that I did this, like, already in the Let's Play, and I, and, and don't say it's like, because it's like been a couple months, I edited it maybe two weeks back, so I should remember where it is. Still have no clue about this door. Can't get to the door without triggering the teleport. Um, yeah. Smooth recording, but me getting angry at this part of the game, you know? I mean, I forgot that that teleporter was a thing. Let's put it, yeah. One Punch Man! I'm going for the wrong targets here, but. Get him. 
No health, man. Yeah. That the true cannon be found in the universal will. You will fall on your knees in front of the true god, the one night. Join me, and I will complete the sigil. I am sick of this mystical double talk. And I'll make your face the greatest in Korodai. By the way, who wrote that? I want to know the genius who came up with your face will be the greatest in Korodai. Or even the person, just anyone who wrote that, like, the script for that game, to sell the CDI, that's beautiful. A lot. Oh, crap. Alright. We can go in here, but I feel like it's a trap. By the way, it looks a little, uh, I don't know. I feel like as soon as I pick up one of those, tons of dudes will come for me. Do it. I'm desperate for help. Take it. Crap, there they go. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for the big dude to come up, completely hit me in the face, and I'll be like, nah, I hit you in the face. Casually hanging out over there. What is he doing? Get up here, mate. I got him. Oh. I, I missed. Err, take that. That feels so good. And then he's coming down the middle. Jeez. If I was up there, I'd be getting insurrect right now. I haven't quick saved in a while because I'm a little worried that I've lost like too much health for it to be a good thing. Especially because like that's the loss of my health. Couple of packs down there, but you see this? Oh, they just keep coming. Yeah, there's no point. There's no point living. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, I don't think I should. It's not worth it. Did they just start spawning anyway. Because I kind of stepped nearby the region. Get up it so I can punch it. There you go. Thanks, mate. Now, I don't know if I can punch the actual boss himself. Kill both those dudes, so... Tower's coming, right? No? I'm gonna go hit a switch on the other end. Yeah, oh, crap. Best answer. Wow, black and acolyte. <laughs> the new taste sensation. This is a bit very awkward. Alright, let me punch ya. The other one. I haven't punched the other one yet. Oh, he's in the pit. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey. Alright. Wow. Let's see if we can get it. The new tape sensation. We're definitely getting a ton of them like that, but uh. <laughs> Is it enough? Probably not. That. Ooh, these. All right, we'll just leave that going. And in the and oh, want some too? Ah! 
It's weird how much damage you take by falling down there. Like... <laughs> now here's the, here's the moment of truth. Did I clear them all out? Holy crap, look at that. We cleared them all out, for the most part. Look at this! The screen's gone too yellow! It's gone too yellow! <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. I'm glad you guys, if you if you felt like sticking around just to see the redux of uh, fighting this boss, and then seeing that... <laughs> In that case, it's probably safe enough to pick up the ammo, or the health. By the way, here's a cool thing. You know, so we were down here, and we were like, Oh, dude, how do you do this? What? There you go. You gotta shoot it first. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Anyway, that is the last secret area in the entire game. Uh... Oh, buddy. That that was the last secret area in the entire game. Uh, and, uh... Of course, there's still kind of smallish secret areas that don't get counted for the, um... For the achievement. But those were all the official ones, at least. All the ones that go... When you, when you get to them. What do you have a... The answer is no. You can't punch him. You just blast him with a Siji. What, you want to make it? Oh! You know where he went? Hey! Ooh. Conveniently, we got a slightly better sigil to take, to take him out to dinner with. There we go. Easy. You wield the power of the complete sigil. What do you say we go get some closure? Yeah. So now, we can go to the end of the game. And we have 200 max health and, and accuracy. Which is gonna come in handy because I am an idiot. I'll just say I was doing it to go for this health, but I really shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, hello, Mr. Skeleton One. <laughs> All this ammo and it's still not enough to max it out. Come on. Come on. Get the jump. Mmm. Come on. <laughs> Don't end I climax me now. There you go. Don't climax me full stop. But... Was it a smart idea to stand here? Yes. We will go back down. I see there's also like health up there, but stop it. I'm lazy. Actually, yeah. That's nice. That's nice that you can do that. Uh, actually, I was gonna say I'm lazy, and then I was like, "What's well, right here?" Like, there's like no harm done there. Some All right. From the looks of it, we're gonna need the full sigil to unlock this puppy. Yeah. Something tells me this is the end of the rainbow. I feel like she tried to say something that could have suited both, but it was a bit weird. Anyway, here we go. Alien ship again. You can't hold anymore! So again, we're gonna kinda of rush this area. We can half wing it though. We can half wing it and I actually wanna see if we can explore this place legitimately. I think the reason why I didn't want to explore is because there was the big dude, and fighting him 
Yeah, there's a big dude over there. Now it's just like a lot of these dudes. And there's no point on the rest of the ammo. There's a, there's a lot of dudes. Suddenly losing all the health. We got we got plenty we got plenty of little health kits and honestly we're not gonna need it for the final boss because you remember how kinda easy that was. Holy crap guys, we actually took them out. Now we can explore this area and see this lovely single health kit over here. And the fact that he's breathing in my right ear. <sighs> yeah, thanks. Great. Appreciate it. Uh, tons of spiders on the bottom, I don't really need to worry about that. Um, why is my Jukun come 3D? I wonder what's up here, by the way. Little lamp things. They're not enemies, they're just lamps. That's where the source of the sound is. Money! Of course! Because I really need money at this point. Um, someone, someone interesting designed this. I also love the person who designed these doors. Uh, this area I don't really want to explore. Ah, I thought I was gonna do like a barrels of fun thing, you know. Anyway, entity's lair. Here we are, final area, and I don't think I really need anything else. I'll just go around. Now, in the in the good ending of the game, you get some different dialogue when you enter. You, you have crushed my order, torn through my roses, and threatened centuries of desire. But I will prevail. I will infect you and twist you to my will. Yeah. So apparently, on the OK ending, uh. It may not have been Blackbird actually, it may have just been him making it sound like Blackbird. Yo dog, I... You like teleporting, eh? Just take the hint already, jeez. There we go. I mean, the thing is that now there's three of them. I think these things, yeah, these ones are a bit weaker. So anyway, that was Strife. Oh, that was... That was strife. Attention, all troops of the front. He's done it. It's over. Blackbird soldier has killed the evil. The order is no more. Blackbird, do you read me? I knew you would win, my gallant hero. All fighting has stopped. Your victory will allow us to create a vaccine to purge the virus from our body. You have saved our planet and set us free. Now, I'd like to thank you, personally. Oh, and by the way, the name Shana. Yes. Here's the thing, how did your violence somehow create a vaccine? Interesting. Anyway, that was it. That was Strife. Thank you all for watching so much. There'll be one more bonus video where we check out the demos of the game. There's not really a lot to check out there. But I thank you guys so much for sticking around and uh, stay awesome, I guess. Yeah. What game will we play next? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!